Hello, and welcome to Heal Talk with Lisa. Hi. Hello, Susan. Hi, Amy, Robert, Marion, Patricia. Hello, all. Hi. What a gorgeous moment this is to be with all of you. I was wondering what today's talk would be all about. And just before I got on, I was thinking about human being. And what does it mean being human? Hmm. For all of you who do not know me, I'm Lisa Bubari. And what I do is clinical hypnotherapy and stress management. It's all about heal within. So to heal within, my tagline is truly to evoke, embrace, and evolve because you matter. And as I was talking and thinking about being human, a thought came to me. And it's about when I say you matter, what would it take when we sit somewhere and we realize that the person in front of us, you right here, and the ones who are next to us, and the ones in our heart also matter, right? So not only you matter, and if you were to turn that around and say, I matter, but the person that you are talking to or thinking of also matters. Thank you, Marion. Thank you. So the spirit is about embracing being present, being human. And what is humanity but having a collaboration and a connection with all of you, not only right here in the present over this communication of this, what I call this box. <laughs> uh, because so many of you I know personally, and then there are so many that I only know through the Facebook, online, and yet you have become so dear to me and I receive emails and asking me questions and and that is the beauty of what has been created this some people call it in the marketing online business a tribe but what is a tribe it's all of us coming together for a connection so welcome to heal talk with Lisa heal talk Tuesdays with Lisa and thank you facebook family that's true it is a facebook hi marion the pp tribe yes and it's a group of us that we call ourselves the pp tribe and thanks to our leader up on the ladder uh, jg for those of you who do not know jg is someone who's very dear to me and this tribe of us that we are a part of a group and a, a private group. So being here with me, I also consider this a private group because what we do and what we experience every single day, every moment, every week together means the world to me. And I'm learning so much in my private group. I'm learning about hashtags, when to use hashtags. I'm learning about slangs. I'm learning so much. But at the same time, I'm getting others who are emailing me and thanking me for the things that they are learning here. So today, let's talk about being human, being present, and embracing, embracing 
this very moment, embracing life, embracing who we are in mind and in body. Last week, actually a few days ago, I attended a seminar. And in that seminar, I met two extraordinary people. And one of them has been an icon for me. And that is Bruce Lipton. If you have not heard of Bruce Lipton, Lipton, please Google him. He is a man of extraordinaire. And why was he an icon for me? Because he speaks my language. It's about the consciousness. It's about subconscious. It's about how our consciousness is the creator. When we are conscious, we are thinking, we are communicating, we are being present, right? At this very moment, as you are emailing me, or it's called messaging me, hi, Aida John, that in itself is all the consciousness. And everything else, as I have explained so many times about what hypnotherapy does and how it can help you manifest so many things from releasing pain, uh, shedding weight, becoming uh, whatever it is that you want, changing your habits and behaviors because the subconscious mind stores all that information and it's all the habitual part of us. Things that we do over and over, over and over from the day that we are children to this very moment. And in my book, in my heel, there it is, right there. In my book, The Mind-Body Connection, I also talk about the 30 days of doing something over and over. And I'll explain to you why 33 days. Did I say 30? I meant 33. So 33 days of doing something over and over also creates a new habit. That new habit turns into a behavior once we continue it over three months. You see, there's so much we can do in life. And I can say, I want to be this. That's a great thought idea, which is consciously making a choice and putting the thought in there to say, I want to feel this, I want to do this, I want to become this, and I can, and I will. But if the subconscious mind has a different thought process, and because of the information stored in there from the time that we were young, that in itself can have a shift of saying, that's not possible because of the old programming that has been stored in the subconscious mind. So the thought process, the creation, everything, it's awesome, but it's the subconscious mind, the core of who we are and the decisions that have been stored and embedded in us that also have to match the conscious thinking part of us. We function truly in the subconscious mind and yet we force and we create we think and we do the actions consciously so in order to make anything and embrace this very moment we have to do it consciously many of you know that the last week as i explained last week of the emotional waves that I was going through and this week it has come to a fruition what came to a fruition was um, why am I stumbling at this very moment just to say the words uh, my father did pass away he died and the words die makes it reality, makes it real, makes it present and embracing this moment of saying exactly what happened. I know, we all know 
that going through the emotions, it's waves that comes. There are sad moments. There is moments of tears. There's moments of remembrance. And there is moments of missing him. But what is it that I miss? It's not the body. It's being close to me. I shared this in my private tribe with the PP group that certain things that he used to say and when we are present with our loved ones we get to this cycle this everyday monotonous being present with them and as parents and children conflicts and what we struggle with and everything else. The things that they say, although we hear it, we're not embracing them. So at this very moment, embracing what's happening at right here, right now, the words may not mean anything to you until you sit back and think about what the messages mean to you. So let me give you an example. My father used to say in Farsi, Baroye ki baroye chi, which means for whom and for what. Every time I would do something, he would say, Oh, what for? For whom? And I would say, Yeah, 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 daddy. And I would brush it off and move on. Just two days ago, I was thinking about it, and I'm going, wow, what a concept. And if I turn that into a marketing, that means who is my message for, and what am I doing, what I do for. So am I here to solve a problem for you? Am I here because my message resonates with you? Or are you here because you are receiving something that is beneficial to you? Isn't that incredible that we can turn something that we hear it all the time until it makes a difference? It matters. I matter. You matter. So that quote has now become something I can take and make the best out of it. So thank you, Daddy. I know in few days it's Father's Day and another wave of emotions will come and that too I will embrace. So today's message is being present, being human, being alive, being one with all circumstances. For the last three weeks, my business has been at a standstill. And my entire attention was for my parents, for, for my dad, and taking him to the hospital and tending to him. So the universe in itself did me a favor. Although the business came to a halt, I was more present for them and for him. Does that make sense? Laura, he is so present right now and will teach you so much from the other side. I am certain that's exactly what's going to happen. And we all look for messages. We look messages through Facebook. We look messages from a book. We look for messages. I walk down the hall or down the street and I saw this beautiful bird's feather and I picked it up and I called it angel's wings. So it's all how we see things, how we interpret things and how we take it and turn it to benefit and make the best out of it. So as you are sitting or walking, wherever you are right now, 
if you were to think back messages that you used to receive and if you could make it 5%, give it 5% more attention, 10% more attention, or 50% more attention. Just glimpse over such messages and embrace the moment. Even embracing how your body feels, being grateful. Starting June 1st, I've been writing gratefulness and embracing every single moment, every single morning, getting up and thinking to myself and then writing 10 gratefulness, being present with what am I grateful for, being present with all humanity from my dog, my parents, my home, my work, this tribal connection with all of you. So being present with each and every breath. If we're not breathing, we are not fully living. So every breath is so precious precious for your life and when we go around we realize that no matter how much anger there is being upset driving in the traffic being stuck behind someone who's truly oblivious to you being there you being in a rush Take a very, take a second and just breathe and count to three and realize that if you can count to three at that very moment, so much can happen. First, you took a breath. Second, if you had any cravings, cravings go away. Three, you become more present at that very moment. Maybe that three breath three seconds that three count saves you from a fender bender saves you from being in a rush saves you for that very moment of saying thank you to the person in front of you and let them go truly let them go maybe they are to be in a rush more than you are embracing each and every breath embracing your body and at this very moment embracing being present humanity whatever is happening when I was sitting there in awe of listening to Bruce Lipton speaking and then I'm sitting it's like wow he's truly embodied from being a professor teaching at a university to now talking about consciousness and subconscious and how hypnosis and hypnotherapy can make a difference, a significant difference in someone's life. I was like, may I take a picture? And I may even have soon a beautiful surprise for so many of you. And that surprise is once I have the validation and the confirmation, I will let all of you know. I think you can guess what that may be, but until then, I don't want to speak beforehand. You know I do interviews, but wouldn't it be great if I interviewed him and you were present and you can hear him live being interviewed by me? That would be that would rock my world. So the other person that was present was Prince EA. If you have not heard him and seen his videos and YouTube videos, oh my God, this young kid from being a rapper to becoming a motivational speaker, he's got a million followers. 
Why? Because of the motivational talks that he gives. And it's not coming from anywhere, but it's a accumulation of everything that he embodies. And it's about being present. Sitting there, I realized that's exactly what evoking what was means. It's truly to go back and evoke everything that we no longer want, need, or have the desire to keep. That means it's no longer useful to you. It's no longer benefiting you. Because the past is truly the past. And what happens today is embracing today and recognizing that who you are, what you think, and what you desire and want to create in your mind consciously is the process that takes you from the evoking to embracing the reality right here, right now, to evolving and transcending to what you want to be, to what you want to feel and become. Becoming real, authentic. Sitting right here, I've got absolutely no scripts, but I am present with you. So as I am talking, I know Hello, Anush. Even you, Anush, that left your corporate job and now you are doing what you love, creating, is the most beautiful thing that there is. Laura, you are creating, embodying your book, your past, your story. We all have stories. There is no one that I know their story is more important than someone else's. It's how we bring it out, bring it into the world, and share it. How I got to be and doing the work that I do is because I healed my own past, my ovarian cyst, and right before going to a surgery for the third time, I was referred to a hypnotherapist. And it was within few sessions, it was about four sessions of hypnotherapy, digging into it, not in one hour, but it was each session was about two, two and a half hours. It was delving deep into my own core belief, understanding what I think, what I feel, why I think, why I feel, it's truly becoming true to me. That I realize why my body was creating the ovarian cyst. And so many of them say, you know what? That would have burst and gone away. Maybe. But the past two times I had had a surgery, the first time it was 9.2 centimeters, the second time it was 8.7 centimeters, and the third time it was already growing, it was six, when I went to the hypnotherapist. And when I went back to the doctor's office for them to do the ultrasound, because a week later I was gonna go under the surgery again, and this is long time ago, we're talking about 18 years ago, there was absolutely no trace of that. I became a believer and within few weeks I was signed up in school and I've been practicing this art, the science of the mind-body connection for the last 18 years. Why? Because I believe what's happening inside, it's also what's happening in the outside. We have total control over our body. Our mind is so much more powerful than we give it credit. So consciously, we make decisions, we create, we think, and we can design the ultimate lifestyle that we want. And so can you. So can the person next to you. It's embracing what was that truly matters also.
and saying, everything has brought me to this very moment to be, to be who I am. And what do I want from now on? I want to become a better human being. I want to become more present and be of service to you. As a matter of fact, in few moments as I finish and come to a close, and I'm going to go back and read some of the messages here, and I would like to respond. So if you have any questions, I will respond to you right here. But before I close, I'm going to also gift you. I'll gift you one of my CDs. And if the first person who types my favorite okay, number, the number that I use all the time, and if you know what's my number, you will be the, the person who's going to get um, one of my books and also a CD. And I will mail it to you. Yes, of course, Anoush, you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> Anoush, you are, no, Laura, three is my number. <laughs> Although seven is a good number because it's a spiritual number. So, Anoush John, you will receive an auto, uh, I'll sign it, and I will gift it to you, and you can message me whatever, whichever CD you want, and I will mail it to you, or we can meet. We're so close. I, we can meet and have a few moments of a cup, cup of coffee, and I will hand it to you. Yes, Laura, of course you knew it was number three. In closing, I'd like us to do a mindfulness, a guided visualization, to become present with life, to become present with all who have been a part of our life, who are a part of our life, either in person, on earth, with us. And it doesn't matter if we are five minutes away, 10 minutes away, an hour away, states away, or heaven on earth away. For those of you who celebrate Father's Day, May Father's Day be an awesome day for you, for your children, for you and your father, and for all the fathers that are present and the ones watching over us. May it be a happy Father's Day. So let us do a see me hello are we still together to say yes or show me an emoji or give me a number one if you can still see me hello Khada. <gasps> yes okay Khada, how are you love oh my god Khada from so far away we are connected okay yes hello Joe thank you Joe thank you for being present and thank you for coming okay let us do a few moments of guided visualization <sighs> awakening all the spirits awakening all that we are hmm No matter where you are, take a moment to close your eyes so that you can be one and be present. 
with yourself and with us. Take a nice deep breath in and give it a space and exhale. One more time, nice deep breath. Hold and exhale. And let us do it one more time. Nice deep breath in and exhale out. And if you have closed your eyes, allow each and every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, become more relaxed as you become present to this very moment. Just imagine in your own mind, thinking above your head as if there is a halo right above your head, connected to your higher self, to the sky, to the universe and some call it God. And just imagine as if there is a pendulum that drops from above all the way to the center of your head. And it spreads throughout. And every pore on your scalp opens Every hair follicle expands and allows that wave of relaxation that started from above spreads throughout all the way down from the shortest hair to the longest and it drapes all over your body like an invisible white shield protecting you shielding you and safeguarding you and as you breathe in Oxygen and vitality. Exhale and release all negativity, toxins, hurt, pain, shame, guilt. And let it go. All emotional hurt, physical hurt, and pain. Just imagine it to drape down from your shoulders all the way down and linger all the way down to the bottom of your feet letting it go, washing over you, cleansing, healing, releasing, and just be present, be present as you breathe in 
and allow the wave of oxygen to linger inside within you. And if there is any block, if there is any hurt and pain in your body, focus it on that spot. And send light, energy, as if the light of the sun warms it, heals it, and melts the pain away. Imagine it melting, becoming smaller and smaller, reducing and melting away. And that too washes down and you release it. Becoming present with this very moment. Validating who you are. Accepting who you are. Appreciating this incredible body of yours that has been housing you and shielding you. Your heart that feels, aches, loves, allow it to expand, and just imagine the color of green, life, oxygen, expanding your heart to love more, knowing that you matter. And everyone beside you matters. Becoming more authentic and allowing the sound mind of yours become sharper and focused and as you create this new vision of what you desire what you want to become to be be grateful embrace And at this very moment, you can choose one habit, one behavior. One. And if you are ready to let it go every day, in every way, you choose what you want to become, what you want to feel, and realize that change happens when the pain is so great, or what you desire is greater, and you embody that. And you repeat everything 
that you can imagine, that you want to create, that you can think, and you become one with that desire. You live it. And you repeat that for 30, 33 consecutive days. Because 33, it's three times three, which is a nine, which is your highest spiritual number, the number of completion. And you complete the process. You feel complete. You embody being present. Knowing that you matter. And you have full control lovingly and you can easily shake your fingers shake your toes wiggle your toes even put your hand on your tummy which is your core which is your becoming where you started life. And at that very moment, you thank your life, where you come from, and where you want to be. I hope this session was beneficial to you. And whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes and know that I am here for you and you matter to me. So, let me go back and see if there is anything I can answer. Yes, JG is amazing. Thank you, Marion. Mm. Yes, Laura, you take all your emotions, the entire spectrum over sickness or death anytime, and I know how close you came to that moment. And I am so glad that you are here with us. Hafla, hello, my dearest. I do miss you. Thank you, Anush, and thank you all of you who were present, who were here, and for all of you who are going to watch the replay. If there is anything I can be of service to you, you can call me, message me, email me. And until next week, which is Heal Talk Tuesday next week, God bless you. Be one with the universe. Um, what else? Enjoy every single day. Be more human because you matter. It's all about healing within. Okay. Hmm. How many rings? <laughs>